Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In my previous video, I introduced you to the concept of stationarity and I said that a time series with no predictable patterns, that is trend and seasonality, is stationary. In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of various time series and we're going to try to figure out whether that time series is stationary or not. So let's jump in. So look at the very first example here. So this is uh, an example of uh, Google stock prices for uh, the first 200 uh, days here. And looking uh, at this data set, we see that there is a clear trend in the series. So which means uh, if we calculate uh, mean and variance in this part of the series, it will be different uh, than the mean and the variance in this part of the series. And specifically, the mean of the series uh, in this part of the series will be much smaller and the mean of the series in this part of the series will be much larger. Hence, uh, we can conclude that uh, this series is uh, non-stationary because it is showing us uh, a trend. Uh, the second example is daily change in the Google stock prices for the first 200 days. And here we have calculated uh, the difference in uh, the price of uh, consecutive days. So looking at uh, this series, we see that uh, there is no observable trend or seasonality in the data set so we can conclude that uh, this series is uh, stationary now uh, in this third example we have uh, a very small trend in the series and uh, this data set shows the number of strikes in the us so there is a trend in the series which makes this series uh, non-stationary so looking at this data set which shows monthly sales of new one family houses sold in uh, the us and we see there is a, a clear seasonality in the data set as these patterns, they are repeating uh, themselves uh, regularly. So seasonality implies that this series is uh, non-stationary. Similarly, there is a clear downward trend here. So this series is non-stationary. And here we see a slight trend as well as um, the trend is changing in the various parts of the series which shows that the properties of the series are not constant across various parts of the series, which makes this series uh, non-stationary as well. So looking at uh, this uh, time series, which are uh, the annual total number of links trapped in uh, McKinsey River in Canada. So apparently there seems to be some seasonality in the data set, but it appears that uh, these cyclical patterns are uh, not regular in intervals which means there is no clear seasonality in this data set and there is no strong trend in the series which makes this series stationary as well and this series shows us clear repeating seasonal patterns which makes this series not stationary now there is a clear trend in the series as well as this trend is increasing with the level of the series and we see a kind of heteroscedasticity in this series which means that the variance is not constant across various parts of the series so looking at this example we see that only series b without any trend and seasonality and series g without any trend and uh, seasonality are stationary series all the other time series are uh, non-stationary and we have to take care of this non-stationarity before applying any arima model on uh, any of uh, these series. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.